Hi everyone, welcome to today's Max session. Today we are going to discuss about new topic, areas related to circles. The topic is coming to the branch of mathematics in menstruation. We all like geometrical shapes. When we are observing around us, we can see geometrical shapes everywhere. In that, which geometrical shapes do you like most? I think some like circles. Why do you like the circles? Because we wear bangles on our hand, the wheels of the vehicle around us, the shape of the clock in our house, etc. In earlier class, we learned about circles. What do you mean by circles? Parts of circles, areas and perimeter of the circles, etc. So just recall the concepts. Let's talk about the circles. Circles is a collection of all the points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point in the plane. The fixed point that is called center of the circle and the fixed distance that is called radius of the circles. So now we will discuss some terms related to a circles. First of all radius. A line segment joining the center and any point on the circle that is called radius. Next is circumference. The perimeter of a circle that is called circumference of the circle. Next, chord. A chord of a circle is a line segment joining any two points on the circle. So in the given figure, PQ and AOB are the chords of a circle with the center O. The end points of the diameter, that means here it is AB, is a diameter. The end points of the diameter also lie on the boundary of the circle. So it is a chord. Yes, it is a special one. It is the largest chord of the circle. The length of the chord as it keep coming towards the center increases and is maximum when it passes through the center. Next concept is arc of a circle. It's a part of circumference of a circle that is called arc of the circle. Semicircle. A diameter of a circle divides it into two equal arcs. So each of these two arcs are called semicircles. So in the given figure, arc APB and arc AQB are two semicircles. Next is minor and major arcs of the circles. If the length of arc is less than the length of arc of the semicircle. Then it is called minor arc or otherwise it is major arc. So in the given figure, arc AE is a minor arc and the arc AFG is a major arc. Next is central angle. An angle Subtended by arc at the center of the circle that is called central angle. Next is segment of a circle. The part of the circular region bounded by an arc and a chord including the arc and chord that is called segment of the circle. The segment containing Minor arc, it's called minor segment. The major segment containing the major arc, that is called major segment. Next, what do you mean alternative segments of a circle? The minor and major segment of a circle are called the alternative segment of the circles. The next concept, sector of the circle. The region enclosed by an arc of a circle and its two radii is called sector of the circle. Next is quadrant of the circle. One fourth of a circle is called quadrant of the circle. Next is 
perimeter of a circle. Circumference means the perimeter of a circle. The distance around a circular region is also known as its circumference. The ratio of circumference to diameter is approximately the value 3.142. It is denoted by the Greek letter pi. The value was given by the great Indian mathematician Aryabhatta. He stated that the value of pi approximately equal to 3.14. But for practical purpose we also assume the value of pi 22 by 7. So here circumference of the circle equal to pi d or 2 pi r. The value of pi 22 by 7 or 3.14. R is the radius of a circle and D is diameter of the circle. Next concept is area of a circle. Area of a circle, already you learned this in the earlier classes. The area of a circle can be calculated by dividing into multiple sectors and then rearranging them to form almost a rectangular shape. So here consider a circle with its radius r divided it into 16 sectors. By cutting it along its diameters as you can see here now we will take these sectors and arrange them placing next to each other so that we get a rectangular. And since this rectangle is formed by using the piece of circle itself. So area of a rectangle equal to area of a circle. How to find the area of a rectangle? Length into breadth. So here breadth of rectangle equal to radius and the length of rectangle equal to half of circumference of a circle. So that is equal to 2 pi r by 2 that is pi r. So area of Rectangle is equal to r into pi r that is equal to pi r square. So area of a rectangle equal to area of a circle. So area of a circle equal to pi r square. Next is semicircle. The area of a semicircle is half of circle. So that is equal to 1 by 2 pi r square. And the perimeter of a semicircle is equal to pi r plus d or pi r plus 2 r. Next is quadrant. Quadrant is one fourth of a circle. So that area is equal to pi r square by 4 and the perimeter of a quadrant equal to pi r by 2 plus 2 r or r into pi by 2 plus 2. Area of the ring. Let us consider the ring having outer radius big R and the inner radius small r. So area of a ring equal to area of the outer circle minus area of the inner circle. So that is equal to pi r square minus pi r square. So pi into big R square minus small r square that is area of the ring. Next is for rotating wheels, the very some important results. The distance moved by a wheel in one rotation means you have to find its circumference. So how to find the number of rotations? The distance travelled divided by circumference. So in this chapter we are going to learn about area of sector, length of arc of a sector, Area of segment. So let's see. Area of a sector. Consider a circle of radius r and the central angle as theta. Area of a sector equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. Length of an arc of a sector. The length of arc of a sector equal to theta by 360 into 2 pi r or Theta by 180 into pi r. Next is area of a segment. 
area of segment equal to area of sector minus area of a triangle. So area of sector that is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square and we can use one more formula for finding area of a triangle. Suppose if you know the theta we can use the formula area of a triangle equal to 1 by 2 r square sin theta. So area of segment equal to theta by 360 into pi r square minus 1 by 2 r square sin theta. 